السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وی آر بائی برتھ مسلم دس وے وی ہیو نو ریسپیکٹ آف اسلام بیکاز وی ڈونٹ نو ہاؤ ٹو ڈو ریسپیکٹ اینڈ ریگارڈ ان آور ہارٹ ود آور ایکشن ود آور مینرز اینڈ ود آور ایٹیکیٹس towards Allah and Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and how to behave in this world with the creation of Allah according to the ruling of sharia we just follow what we see in our home mostly our parents they are just to follow little bit islam but they are mostly away from that because they are following mostly the christian and jews and uh, other uh, you know the society which is uh, dominant in the world they are trying to follow the culture of those people so you can see mostly in muslim countries and muslim societies and muslims mostly who are rich people in their houses you can see the fashions and traditions of western culture they don't have islamic culture they hate it they don't like it this way how is possible for that person who is by birth muslim and say i am a good muslim nothing we are just by name muslim we have to prove that we are muslim you know the when you see that uh, what i have seen i assessed many people assessed the children of different families also but i was shocked to see them because they don't know even the shahada if someone knows then don't know the meaning of that and don't know what is in what is hidden in shahada for which we have to prove that we are muslim actually the reflection of shahada that must come from every part every organ of our body every organ of our body every part of our body even every single cell of our body must be enriched with shahada so we say only la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah and some like or we say ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu many muslim people i have seen i have seen them even they 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 don't learn holy quran completely they learn in arabic and then they learn little bit to, to some hadith or some islam little bit then they make other people in trouble they say what you are saying where is this written what is the proof of that so actually the main thing is that this question is very good must be asked but that person should ask the who has who has gone through the whole holy quran with understanding so completely understand holy quran like arabic and also meaning explanation with reference to the sunnah of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam hadith of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and also its application towards the modern time and its uh, uh, its uh, its application will will make the person's life more enriched with that and reflect with the actions of that person that this life is according to the quran and sunnah that is very important so we must we must be like this type of person that we should go through the whole quran and sunnah completely and fully and if 
we have not gone through within our family from our parents they have not given us a chance to go through this one then we have to do it individually we don't stay more time in order to earn money in order to earn uh, the worldly things uh, to make our life this more luxury luxury is not for muslim this luxury life is for kuffar for muslim this world is just for test and trial we must have so much money so much earning that make our life just to, to spend within the line of holy quran and sunnah so that we should stay within the limits of sharia so we have to do that one if we have extra money then we have to spend that one in charity help the people who are needy needy people start from your family also start with your relatives also start with your neighbors also so very important for us but we ignored that one and this way you know the main thing is that now if we want to return towards allah the best thing is that we have to start astighfar astighfar is forgiveness when we request allah for forgiveness when allah will forgive our all darkness that was because of sinful act or because of ignorance or because of darkness of our dunya knowledge of this dunya not knowledge of deen so this way we have so much knowledge of this dunya but we have no knowledge so much for our deen this way we are under trouble so we we are just to look we are just to recognize or uh, we are just to check our uh, islam on the basis of the knowledge of this dunya which we have so that is a trouble for us so this way the best thing is that we must have enriched knowledge of deen and then we have to check our dunya knowledge on our deen that is the main thing but we are doing the opposite so we must understand that we are muslim and if we have got less education of islam from our home then we have to study ourselves don't go to the different type of sect because people this is dunya is just divided into sect you have to try to think if someone is good you think that if someone is good and that is uh, like the deeds and the life of that person is according to sunnah of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam a life of one person is according to quran and sunnah if you find someone like this then you do istikhara istikhara mean like consultation with allah if in istikhara if consultation with allah pass that person that this person is good then you have to consult that person for your life to promote it according to quran and sunnah to become more closer to allah that is very important so we have to do this one okay the first thing is toba astaghfar when we do toba astaghfar then all the sins all the evil practices will be finished darkness will go off and we will get to clean our heart and our body alhamdulillah what will happen then then we have to do toba toba is a rewardable thing toba is like a promise that i will not do these sinful act for which i requested forgiveness i will not do it in future this is a promise with allah that i will not do this one again then you have to fulfill this promise like this like the magnet like the magnet it attract 
uh, only those things like cobalt, nickel and iron, it, it attract only these three metals. But it don't attract any other thing. So you attract only all the good deeds and you repel all the other things which are evil and which are sinful act. You repel them, you be away from them. Be like that. Very important. And after doing Tawbah, be like this way, a full magnet to repel the bad things, sinful things, evil practices and to attract the good deeds. Then what will happen? Then your heart that became clean now. So when you do the good deed, this good deed will bright a star twinkling with the nur of Allah in your heart. And if you are doing that good deed again and again, the constancy of good deed will increase the volume of that star that is uh, shining in your heart with the nur of Allah. It will increase in volume. Same way, same way if you will try to do some other uh, good deed, then that good deed will also uh, become an other star that will glitter in your heart with the nur of Allah and when you will be constant on that so that nur will increase the star lightning will increase so this way how many good deeds you will add in your in your body the organs of your body when our, when all the body organs are doing good deeds so your heart will become a source of full light like it will be a one special eye that will show you Allah's special things even if you are in trouble you will stay in your house any place, any place just remember Allah and closing your eyes you will if you have any problem you request Allah you will see the solution just before you like a movie Alhamdulillah, this is the Allah's special mercies will come to you if you are really uh, with Allah and Allah will be with you. Fazkuruni azkurkum washkuruli wala takfurun. This is very important. So we have to be like that. And like Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that uh, you have to follow me. Then when we have to follow Holy Prophet Sallallahu we have to find all the uh, deeds of our life according to Quran or Sunnah because life of Holy Prophet Sallallahu is full reflection of Quran or Sunnah. We have to get from there everything and, and place it in our, in our life one by one. Then you will see the shining of it. You will see the satisfaction in your life. You will see the peace of mind. MashaAllah, you will be the one of the best person on the surface of the earth. Alhamdulillah. So, the first of all, you try uh, to recite La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah as much as you can, so that all the body organs must be in a position to recite it. This way, many people, they recite it million times. Some people recite it uh, like... Uh, 500,000 times. Some people recite it as much as you will recite La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, you will get purification of your heart and that heart will make a place to bring the good deeds in it to glitter and shine it with the nur of Allah. Then your heart will be in a position to get the mercies of Allah and connect with Allah's mercies and Allah's blessings and you will be a best person in this in the on the surface of the earth and will get to all information that is needed to you with the blessings of Allah and some of special things which you need any any time in your life holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam even will tell you in your dream and you will get so many blessings of Allah and blessings with the Holy Prophet ﷺ. Alhamdulillah. Possible. So this way, try to recite La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah as much as you can. So then uh, you have to follow 
the good deeds all the good deeds you get from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam life and place one by one in your life like uh, allah said in the holy quran a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem surah ali imran kul in kuntum tuhibbun allah fattabi'uni yuhibbukum allah wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum wallahu ghafurur rahim so allah said to say the people allah said to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say the people if you want that allah love you fattabi'uni then you have to follow me follow me completely fully like all the life practices all the deeds of you must be according to my deeds and then what will happen what will be the outcome of that you bibkumullah then allah will start loving you and it will not be only this wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum and allah will forgive your sins also wallahu ghafurur rahim because allah is forgiver uh, and also merciful and same like this if you continue reading uh, this uh, surah al imran ayat number 31 32 33 you will find allah said also kul ati allah wa ati ar rasul and people they should follow allah and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if they will not follow fa in tawallu fa inna allah la yuhibbu al kafirin if they are deviating or leaving the obedience of allah and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then they will be the people of kufar so allah don't like them and allah don't make them friend so this is a special thing we have to follow the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam even allah said in holy quran many places like in surah hashar ayat number 7 allah said a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem ma ataakum ar rasul fa khuzuhu wa ma nahaakum anhu fa antahu allah said our rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam whatever he gave you take it and whatever he say you not to do then leave that one and same like that if you go to the uh, surah nur allah said auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem fal yahzari allazina yukhalifuna an amrihi an tusibahum fitnatun aw yusibahum azabun alim allah said if the people who will oppose the commands of allah and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they must frighten that any time in their life they will get to the painful punishment and also this painful punishment or trouble possible to reach to them they must have this hope that will be possible so a people who will not follow the uh, command of allah and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and though they are doing they are doing opposite to that one so they will have to get to the trouble and punishment in this life and the life hereafter so this will be other trouble for them same like that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam whatever you get to, from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is true because that is the command of allah like allah said in surah najm a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem wama yantiku anil hawa in huwa illa wahyun yuha allah said the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he is not to talk he has not to say anything with his own desire whatever prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying that is coming to him through our command wahyun yuha it comes from allah revealed message that comes from allah prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is just to tell that one so this way whatever prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying or giving you our activity our life of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is according to the commands of allah we have to follow that one completely and fully as allah said in surah nisa wa may yuti ir rasula faqad ata allah a person who will follow the uh, uh, holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in fact he is he or she is following the allah so this is the thing wa may yuti ir rasula faqad ata allah so very important and keep in mind that uh, is there you can see in this world many people who who some people they follow quran and some people they follow hadith some people they make a difference with hadith and quran and different things but allah don't like those people allah wants that whatever is quran and sunna the hadith which is real hadith and with holy quran it, you know when you read holy quran actually hadith is uh, explaining holy quran so this is very important also so you can see mashallah in uh, surah nisa allah said auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem innal ladhina yakfuruna billahi wa rusulihi 
و یوری دونا فرکو بین اللہ و رسول ہی و یقولون نومنو بے باڈیوں و نہ کفرو بے باڈیوں و یوری دونا خزو بین ظال کا سبیلا الا اک فرون حق کا سو اللہ سیڈ دیٹ دا پیپل ہو آر کفار وٹ وٹ دے 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 آر دا پیپل ہو ہو ٹرائی ٹو ڈفرینشیٹ بٹوین اللہ اینڈ پروفیٹ صلی اللہ وسلم اینڈ وٹ ایور اللہ اینڈ پروفیٹ صلی اللہ وسلم سے دے آر ناٹ ٹو فالو دیٹ ون دے آر جسٹ ٹو سلیکٹ سم تھنگ فرام دی آر اینڈ سلیکٹ سم تھنگ فرام دی آر اینڈ دین ٹرائی ٹو فائنڈ دا وے ان بٹوین بٹ دے آر ناٹ ٹو کمپلیٹلی فالو وٹ اللہ اینڈ پروفیٹ صلی اللہ وسلم وانٹس سو وٹ ول ہیپن ٹو دیم اللہ سیٹ دی آر دیز پیپل دے آر ریئلی ریئلی ڈس بلیورس سو دس وے دا مین تھنگ از دیٹ وی ہیو ٹو فالو قرآن و سنا دیٹ از ویری امپارٹنٹ وی کین گیٹ ٹو ایوری ایوری یو نو دا ڈیڈ فرام ہولی پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایون ایف یو لک ان سورہ نسا اللہ سیڈ اوز بلّہ من شیطان الرجیم ومن يشاكك الرسول من بعد ما تبين له الهدى ويتبع غير سبيل المؤمنين نوليه ما تولى ونسله جهنم وساءت مسيرا الله سيد a person who is who has got real guidance real guidance mean he, he the person has got real guidance in the form of holy quran and sunnah and then after getting real guidance then the person is going against the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and against the people who are following the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the people of iman and then allah said we will leave that person whatever the way the person has adopted and then we will move this person to the hell and hell is the worst place allah said in this ayat surah nisa so this way we if we got really what allah wanted from for us we got real real uh, uh, guidance then we have to follow it and we make our life according to that even sunnah is the best way to follow it to to, to be successful in this world and the world here after jabir razi allah taala no he revealed that holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam after hamd us sana of allah and he said that the best uh, Uh, fo- best thing to follow is holy quran and best way to follow is way of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this is very important we have to follow this hadith also you know many even in uh, one other hadith this is revealed by abdullah bin masud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he draw a line straight line and the other lines were there prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said look this is straight line that is sirat e mustaqim if a person who will follow it will be successful and other lines who are going like zigzag these lines are lines of shaitan shaitan makes a person to go these ways so then uh, the people who will follow them like allah said in holy quran wala tattabi'u khutwati shaitan innahu lakum adu mubin so shaitan is your open enemy the people who will follow the footsteps of footsteps of shaitan so they will be with the shaitan also this way uh, even if you look in the hadith uh, bukhari muslim uh, that is revealed by abu said khudri radi allah taala no holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said hey, you people you will follow the people who were before you so even if before you the people what what type of things they were doing you will have you will have to do that one people you can see according to this hadith many people you know they are following the yahudo nasara and their way of life and tradition and culture is according to that and they are blindly following it and they find that this is the way of uh, respect to get the respect and way of to have is prominency in the world and we to make ourselves proud before the people so they trying to follow that one but they left that they understand the following allah and holy quran sallallahu alaihi wasallam quran and sunnah they found this one is like they this they have made it at one side they made it aside so this is they think that is we have to follow those one to get the prominent position in the world but they they forgot what allah and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam want from them this is very very important we have to look where we are going and now the the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said bilal bin haris radiyallahu ta'ala no he revealed 
he said the holy prophet sallallahu also said a person who will revive a sunnah when this was forgotten by the people and that person will get to the reward uh, according to the people who will follow it so mashallah this is the hadith in tirmizi and abd majah mashallah you will get so many things in uh, in the quran and sunnah alhamdulillah the best thing is that one the people who will follow uh, quran and sunnah mashallah those will be the people who will be in love with allah and allah love with them also and they love the people just for allah umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said and some people from the people are those one who are not prophet who are not shaheed who are not martyrs but at the day of judgment their status will be so high that the prophet and the martyrs will look at them and they will feel that we should get that status also and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said these are those people who had in themselves the love of allah and also when they were with other people they were also having the relationship with others just for allah so the relationship was not for this dunya not for other transaction but that was just for allah so the your friendship your relationship if other people is just for allah and you are you are in love with allah alhamdulillah so then your faces will be with noor and you will stay at the member of noor at the day of judgment mashallah when the people they will be under frightening situation and everyone will be afraid but you will be satisfied so alhamdulillah ala inna awliya allah la khawfun alayhim wala hum yahzanun this will be the best thing we have to get it we possible to get it abu zar ghafari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he revealed that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the best way be, is this one that you have to make your love just for allah just with allah and for allah so this hadith is in abu daud abu zar ghafari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said that you must have this is the best way in your life the best deed in your life that you must have love with allah and for allah and you must oppose others just for allah this is the best way best deed for a muslim we request allah allah give us special mercies to bless this deed so that we should be successful in this world and the world hereafter ameen